we're going to talk about first is Valentine's Day just around the corner. So why not make a romantic dinner for two? Why Joining not? us to show you a delicious idea is Mike Harrison. He's the head chef at Seasons Restaurant at Buckley Healthcare Center in Greenfield. Mike, we love when you come on the show. Always great recipes. Well, thanks. I love to be here. Uh, what we're starting with today, it's a filet mignon. Take us through the whole dish that we're going to be making. Okay, well, we're going to do a uh, filet mignon that is going to, we're going to take some uh, peppercorns, um, a little bit of rosemary, and a tiny bit of mustard. Um, we're going to grind that in a food processor. We're going to pad that into our steaks, uh, let it marinate for a little bit, and then whenever you're grilling, make sure that you get the moisture off your steak because you want it to grill before it steams. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, so uh, the, mo the most important thing is to pat it with pat the towel? Pat it, get the moisture out of it. So when you put it on the grill, because um, anything with moisture, you're going to start steaming it before you grill it. Um, and you want to grill it, uh, whether it's pork, fish, whatever, when you're grilling. So that's how you get it to get that really, the really nice steak, the lines, the, the charred crust. lines. You get, to, yeah, you get the charring. So this, yeah, this is what that provides you, whereas if you don't do it, you're out of luck. We're also, what I see on this plate, which looks amazing, these mashed potatoes. You want to start with those? Sure. We're okay. So um, in the recipe, it says white or Yukon. I like the red potatoes. I really do. I, I think um, there's a little more flavor in them. They're a little softer. Um, it, so what I did is I, before I got to the show, I boiled these for about 20 minutes um, just so you can kind of mash them so down. So the, the smash isn't a typo. They're, they're smashed. Yep. They're smashed not potatoes. mashed. Isn't there's a difference. A little bit of smushed too smushed in there. Smushed potatoes, smushed. yeah. <laughs> but then we're going to take, this is a little butter. All right. A little olive oil. Now you already mixed something up in there? Yeah, too, because I did a okay. batch already that's in the oven. Okay. There's a little balsamic vinegar. This is some garlic, wow. fresh chopped garlic. And this is um, what it says, it, it asks for thyme and rosemary, and it says um, uh, savory. If you don't, you can use oregano. This is herbs de Provençal. Um, a lot of times it'll have it in your store. Um, it's a great mix that you can put on anything. Oh, cool. um, it'll have a little lavender, uh, a little thyme, a little sage, um, uh, margarine. Um, so. so good for potatoes. Yeah. Uh, it's good for anything. <laughs> Chicken. But today, are we, we're just using other potatoes. So yes, we steak. are. OK. So All right, so you just mix it up? Yeah. Put it on top. And then I see those are grilled. Are we going to pop these in the grill, too? We are actually going to put this in a 450 degree oven. Bake them. Yep. Um, underneath the. Underneath the, um, the heat mm -hmm. um, for about 20 minutes. It's going to get nice and crisp. Easy. Yeah. Now, I love when you don't have to peel potatoes. That's like, oh, what a right. time saver. I, I'll just throw them in the uh, pot to boil them and then smash them. That's like my kind of meal. It's an Ashley Cole <laughs> So meal. easy. Uh, Nothing to peel. Now, we're all talking about what we're going to do for Valentine's Day. What are you going to do at Buckley uh, for the residents on Valentine's Day? Um, we're doing this wonderful dish. I, I love it. Um, uh, my, my grandmother is Yugoslavian, and we grew up with a lot of paprikash. So we're going to do a pork tenderloin paprikash with a uh, sweet onion polenta um, and some fresh green beans. And then we'll have a chocolate fountain in the middle of the dining room that the residents can go up and, you know, on a, uh, on a skewer, dip a strawberry, uh, a pretzel, a marshmallow, Oreos. Um, anything. Oh, gosh, anything a dream typical. come true. What is the what is the paprikash? Paprikash. Um, that is, it's a it's a paprika, almost like a cream, uh, almost like a creamy paprika sauce mm -hmm. that goes over it. Um, it ma helps make everything really nice and tender. Um, I think you're gonna have to make that on Mass Appeal. And Mike, right now we're looking at some footage. This is the dining room at the Buckley Healthcare Center up in Greenfield. Tell us uh, what you do for people at home who aren't as familiar. What's Buckley all about? Um, what Buckley is, it's a assisted living and a, reha a rehabilitation center. Mm -hmm. um, we have about 80 long-term residents and we have about 40 uh, rehab people, everything from heart attack to hips to falls to respite. Um, when I say respite, I, any, there's a lot of uh, folks at home that are, are uh, caregivers for their, their grandmother, their mother, their father. They like to go on vacation. So we are, we're a really wonderful spot to get round the clock, 24 hour care, so that you can go and enjoy your vacation and know that your loved ones are safe. That's really nice, actually. Yes. What a great opportunity that is for a lot of people out there. Now, uh, what are we gonna do with the steak today? Okay, so what I did is, this is some beef tenderloin, and what I, what I did is, and the rule of thumb with, you know, with using your hands, <laughs> okay, any ready to eat foods, 
you don't want to, you like we'll use a glove or this and that. But if you're going to apply heat to it, you know, you can get down and dirty. All right, cause it's going to kill all the bacteria anyways. Yeah. But wash your hands regularly. <laughs> the yeah, good, anyway. the good public well, health message yeah. right there. Before and after you handle the meat. And especially well, after. anytime, anytime you move to another food product. Mm. Because you never know when you're touching something that's going to not be applied to heat. Well, that and um, how about allergies? How about allergies? I've, I've went, I've done with, with uh, shrimp. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to move on to steak. I want to wash my hands, change, you know, yeah, to make sure. Nuts, it's so easy. I don't even have an allergy, but don't touch my steak with your shrimp fingers because I don't <laughs> like shrimp. <laughs> well, I, I think I, I got you to eat one, right? Once? I think so. About two years ago? <laughs> Maybe a shrimp like fingers. It. All right, Mike, we're going to leave you two. We're going to let you okay. finish this up. It looks fantastic. We'll check in with you later in the show. It smells show. amazing in here. But until then, I want to talk to the man who might be responsible for that one degree day. We're back with Chef Mike Harrison, Buckley Healthcare Center in Greenfield. We're finishing up our steak recipe, and boy, it looks good. Smells good. That, that's what I, I, looks I have good. to say. Smells so we, good. you showed us how to make the smashed potato and the fillet. Okay. And those are cooked up. Now yep. the asparagus. What did you do to prepare those? So this is easy. I'm just gonna take some fresh cracked black peppercorn. Is that lemon juice? Nope. That's just a little olive oil. Oh, okay. And a little salt. And then what I do is I always peel the bottoms. Yeah, why do you do that? You know how sometimes you get it and it's really um, uh, strainy yep. and kind of... Mm -hmm. Like that? Yeah. It gets in your teeth? It. Yeah. Do you also, do you still clip the bottoms then? Yep. Okay. Yep. What you, yeah. What you do is you just clip one. Um, you just basically hold it mm -hmm. um, almost um, away from the florette. And then you just snap it, and that's where you can cut. And the there's rest that of. natural break too in it. Right, and that's usually, and then all the asparagus. We put in the bag. Oh, we shake it up. Yep. That's a good idea. It gets it well coated. So I would do that. I did these before. Oh, that's a good idea. Throw them in your fridge. When you want to use them, you mm -hmm. use them. And Jeff, okay. Mike, I know you wanted to shout out uh, the admissions staff at Buckley Healthcare Center up in Greenfield. Um, yeah, the um, it, it's it's pretty cool. We have three folks in admission. Marie, um, Bonnie, and oh my God! Uh oh, you're oh. Like Holly. Holly and Holly, Holly. <laughs> and uh, they just they just think. they do everything. They do a, a great job in the community. They do the the marketing piece. They and uh, they make people feel unique and special. That's what it, and there's so many different uh, questionnaires when you come in doing your intake because you want to uh, tailor people's experience to what they want. Yeah. Absolutely, and the other thing, what they they've started to do, what we've realized that um, we come in to their room within 24 hours and do their likes and dislikes. Well, whether they're coming from the hospital or have pneumonia or you know they come in and all in um, all different conditions. And, and you you take care of them, so that's what's most important. That you're taking care of at Buckley Healthcare Center, and that is included included that includes the food. That, and look I, at this I'm, food I'm we have right, right here. Now. And if Amazing. you want the recipe, so much, it's going to be on our it's website. Delicious. But what you need to do is go to buckleyhealthcare.com. Check out all they have to offer. Now, for you.